So, welcome back to another episode of Your Digital Hustle News. Now, I feel like I'm vlogging now, but like I told you guys, I travel. And right now, I'm actually at the University of Michigan. The very same University of Michigan where the starting quarterback for the upcoming season will receive endorsements in the form of Bitcoin. Okay, I have tried to find this man. I couldn't, but that's to be expected. Everybody's just getting back. People are just moving in, so forth and so on. But the main focus of this video is to tell you guys about Celo's new DeFi initiative. Okay, this is a consortium of DeFi protocols that Celo has brought together and given $100 million to fund these developments. But what's got me the most excited is the list of projects. Now, I'm gonna open up my phone here. The list of projects included with this new initiative include Ave, Curve, Sushi Swap, Pool Together, haven't heard of that one yet, Zero X, it's a project that one of you guys actually mentioned to me not too long ago. Uh, Uma Valora, which is Cello's uh, essentially the equivalent of their version of Cash App. Uh, Ubiswap and Moolah Market, as well as The Graph. Now, that's what really got my attention because I hear about The Graph a lot. It performed very well due to that Coinbase listing. But the technology, when I went to research it, it sounded too familiar. There are other projects doing what the Grab is doing. However, they're not in the same rooms as the Grab. Okay? You're gonna come across that a lot in this game. There's gonna be a lot of assets that have great use case, they have great teams, great development, but they're doing what 14 other assets are doing. Okay, so when you see that, you immediately have to go into, okay, which room are they in? Who are they working with? Okay, we know that Cello has already been chosen, which is which would explain why they have the power to do what they're doing. But I keep seeing the graph pop up more and more often, so don't be surprised if there's a graph video coming down the pipeline on this channel. Okay because now I'm interested in who's working behind the scenes. But, like I said, this new Cello Consortium, guys, this new Cello Consortium is going to usher in an age in, of DeFi, the likes of which we've never seen. And I find it funny that about a month ago, I mentioned that we may be entering an age where a lot of these cryptos begin to merge and collaborate and come together. Sure enough, maybe a week or so after that, Polygon merged with Hermes, okay? Then Hedera Hashgraph joined together with Filecoin, all right? So now what we're seeing is Celo doing the same thing on a bigger scale, all right? Now, some more details on this initiative states that this new program will offer more than 100 million in educational initiatives, grants, and incentives. The majority of the program participants will jointly contribute half the funds for incentive programs. So you're looking at 50 million towards education and grants and another 50 million towards incentives, DeFi incentives. So you put all the pieces together, guys, excuse me ringtone but you put all these pieces together and what you have is a picture of the regulatory landscape for 2022 it's the simplest way i could put it that is why i had to highlight this story about cello's DeFi consortium not only because of the players involved but the groundwork that's being laid for 2022 Okay. As we all know, 2022 is going to be that year. That year. We may very well be in a bear market the entire year while the new system shifts over and regulation comes in. Okay. Another narrative that is starting to circulate around is in the form of Avanti Bank and Kraken. 
Now, I've been watching Kraken for the whole year because they have been slowly hinting at going public much like Coinbase did, but they're planning for Q2 of 2022. So we're looking at sometime after April, maybe May, June, when Kraken is gonna go public. It's the second biggest exchange, okay? Centralized exchange. But in order for them to do that, the SEC needs to back away from Ripple. We need to get some kind of definition for that. And they also have to get registered with the FDIC. And that is where we are running into a problem. The legacy banks don't wanna let go of their position. That's justified, I understand that. But Avanti Bank and Kraken, those are the two most important figures that are going to cause the incident, create the catalyst that will push the former banks out, the legacy banks away from the system. Because it's the FDIC that we really want. If we can get the FDIC fully blockchain, fully crypto, that's that will mark the transition to the new financial system. And we know it's coming, guys. It's literally right around the corner within eight months, which is why this week I am going to uh, give you guys a video. I got two thousand, two thousand dollars, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it into something that I like to call an all weather crypto portfolio. So if you're looking forward to that, of course, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe so that you never miss an update. As you can see, I'm all around the world with this. This crypto thing doesn't stop. And then I'm always advertising. As you can see, Bitcoin everywhere. So I'm truly waiting. I'm hoping I get to see this guy because I want to ask him what company is endorsing you and which crypto are you going to take? But, you know, we'll leave that for the universal side. But like I always tell you guys, have a great day, a prosperous day. Most importantly, make that money. I'll see y'all in the next one.